everyone, my name is Violet Dominguez and I am the owner of New Vibe Gymnastics. If you're new to my channel, every week we do a vibe check where I teach you a new skill for your new vibe. On today's vibe check, we're gonna learn how to do our handstands. So we're gonna start with just the very beginning, the lunge position. So you have one foot forward and one foot back, front leg is bent and the back leg is straight, and we're gonna stretch our arms all the way up to the sky. Make sure that you don't cross your hands or twist your hips but that your hips are facing forward and your arms are stretching really tall out of your body. From this position, I have my ball right in front just to help me keep my balance. I'm gonna go into what's called a T position. So you're gonna pretend that there's a string attached from your wrist to your ankles and you don't wanna break the string. So you don't wanna bend in half this way or kick up this way. Your wrist and your ankle always move as one piece. So I'm gonna go forward, make a T with my body and then come back to a lunge position. We're gonna do that one more time. Forward T with your body, and back to a lunge position. Now if that's so comfortable for you, you're gonna to progress to what's called a teeter-totter. Your hands are gonna go on the floor. We're gonna do a small hop, pushing off of our bottom leg, and we're gonna see if we can try holding some weight onto our hands. And each time, you're starting and finishing in the same spot. So always start and finish from a lunge position. Now, just to get used to being on top of your hands, we're gonna go and practice L handstands. So you can use any elevated platform. For me, it's gonna be a stack of panel mats. Maybe for you at home, it's a chair. I'm gonna put my hands down, fingertips facing forward. My feet go up onto the panel mat and I'm gonna make an L with my body. We want to keep our back flat. Bring one leg up to the ceiling to test your balance. Hi, butter, and down. Bring the other leg up, and down. Hold it there for a few extra seconds, and then jump down. And that's the start of your handstands. Now, if you've practiced all of those drills for handstands, the next progression is gonna be handstands against the wall. And I recommend before you try kicking up, you're gonna try walking up. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna face away from the wall. We'll put our hands down like this and walk our feet up until we get all the way to the top. Once you get to the top to a comfortable position, you're gonna walk your hands in close to the mat and try to get your body flat against the mat. Now, be mindful that your fingertips are facing forward and not out and that your arms are about shoulder distance apart. You'll hold it here for 10 seconds, and then you'll walk down the same way you came up. Feet down. And there you go. That's your handstand walking up a wall. So that's gonna be your first introduction to full handstands. Then once you get that down and you feel comfortable with that, you'll turn towards the mat, and we'll do kind of what we practiced the other day. So, you're gonna be in a lunge, arms go up by your ears, and this time we're gonna kick up and try to get our back flat against this red mat. Now make sure you're pushing really tall, toes are going to the ceiling, and I'm making sure that I don't sink into my shoulders or bend my arms, but I push all the way up. Then I'm gonna step down, and again, land the way that you came in a lunge. And there you have it, that's your handstand.